You now know how to find items and check out items in Libby. But what if an item you want isn't available? That's when you can place a hold. Think of placing a hold like waiting your turn in a line. This is especially helpful when the item you want is popular and everyone wants to read or listen to it. You already know how to search for an item, so we're going to start there. I'm going to look for one of our most popular series, Wings of Fire. Now you can see all the titles that we have that match Wings of Fire. But up in the top right next to many of the titles, you'll see a place hold. This means that someone else is currently using the item. Go ahead and select place hold. This will take you to a new page where you confirm what item you're placing on hold along with how many holds you can make and finally an estimate of how many weeks until the item is available. Once you select place hold, you'll be taken to a new page that will confirm you have placed the item on hold. From here, you can keep browsing or go to shelf to read or listen to one of the items that you already have. Now that you've placed your hold, what if later on you realize you don't have time to read or listen to this item? That's where suspend hold comes into place. Suspend hold means you won't lose your place in line and when you're ready for the item, you can turn your hold back on. You can suspend your hold between 1 and 180 days using the slider bar. Let's suspend our hold for 7 days, which is the automatic suggestion. Once you've selected how long you want to suspend your hold, select Update Hold to confirm your hold suspension. To see your current holds, go to your shelf. At the very top, there will be a gray box that says Holds. This will have the number of holds you currently have. Go ahead and select this link to see the details about your holds. From here, you can see your holds organized by what type of material the holds are, or you can organize them based on when you placed your hold, the title, or the author. You've probably noticed that number next to the type of holds, and the arrows next to the different ways you can organize your holds. These numbers tell you how many holds you have of the different types of material you've placed on hold. For example, here I have one book on hold and one audiobook on hold. When you select these boxes, you can see the titles of those specific types of material. When your hold is ready, you'll receive either an email or a push notification on your mobile device. Congratulations! You now know how to log into Libby, how to find items, checking out items, and placing a hold. Take some time to explore Libby and find out everything it has for you.